Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to do NFL lip art and I'm going to do all four teams that made it to the division finals and I'm super excited. I absolutely love football like almost as much as I love makeup so it's really fun that I get to merge the two and I'm really excited I'm going to do team logos on my lips. Art takes not only a steady hand but steady lips so I'm going to just have to do a voice over after what I'm using and what I'm doing. All of my lip art starts the same with a matte light lip sense color to give me an even base to work with. Here I'm using Bravo as my base and I just apply one thin layer. Then I made the arrowhead. I used Snow Shadow Sense on a Sigma E30 pencil brush. It's really pointed and it makes it easy to make shapes. Whenever possible you want to start with white because it's much easier to put color over white than to put white over dark colors. You also don't need a perfect line or shape because you can make adjustments to the outline when you add the other colors in. Next, I took Blue Red Lip Sense and I used a Terramare eyeliner brush to fill in the rest of my lip with a Kansas City red color. I'm also coming in on the white I did earlier to get the shape of the arrowhead just right. Moving on to the KC in the middle of the arrowhead. This is precision work, so I use art brushes. You can find them in a craft store like Michael's, and they are pretty reasonably priced compared to similar makeup brushes. Here I'm using a Royal and Lang Nickel Zen Z93 SP. I started with a C because it's a harder shape, but also because it goes across both lips evenly, so it's easy to map out. You need a very steady hand for this process, and it helps to hold your working hand or arm with your other hand. It also helps to put your elbow up on a table. You should start as thin as possible and then thicken the lines up to the right thickness that you want. Next, I use another Royal and Lang Nichols Zen brush. This is the Z73R, and I take Blackberry to outline the arrowhead. You can use Black Eye Sense or Starry Sky Eye Sense liquid eyeliners too if you don't have Blackberry lip sense. The good thing about the Kansas City logo is the outline of the arrowhead isn't perfectly even. So even if you don't have a steady hand, you can still get a pretty authentic look. I use the same brush and the same color to outline the letters inside of the arrowhead. In this part, you want to be as careful as possible to keep the line thin. After you let that dry for a minute or two, you take a light color lip sense. I'm using Icicle. You can also use Cappuccino or Bombshell. When you put lip sense on top of Shadow Sense though, even if it's perfectly dry, you want to be sure to apply it as a thick layer. So I ditch my applicator stick and I just use my finger and find that's much easier. So tap the bottle on your finger or palm until you get a bunch out and then pat a thick layer on your lips. Let that dry for quite a while and then you're going to top it again with gloss. I always use matte gloss, but I apply with a thick layer. I removed the so stoppers from one of my matte gloss bottles so I can get a really thick layer out. So again, I started with a thin layer of Bravo Lip Sense, and you could use any light color that you want. Then I topped my whole lip with Snow Shadow Sense. It is really easy to clean shadow sense lines as long as you do it within the first 30 seconds to one minute of application. 
So don't be too worried if you make a mistake, just take your fingernail and remove it. One thing you really need to know is that a full lip of Shadow Sense needs plenty of time to dry. So you're going to want to give it about three to four minutes. Then I went in with a Real Techniques square detailer brush and the Lip Sense Color Midnight Muse. I started with a star so that I could make sure to get the shape just right, and then I worked the rest of the shape and lines with the blue. Then using a Tear Mirror Eyeliner Brush, I took the Lip Sense color Blue Red and I added the red part of the logo. It's pretty easy, it's just two straight lines. With an Ulta Eyeliner Brush, I took Silver Shimmer Shadow Sense for the face shape in the bottom corner. Next, I use a Royal and Lang Nickel Zen Brush Z73R and Midnight Muse to outline the face shape and the facial features. And again, I ended the look with a thick layer of icicle. I used my finger to pat it on, pretty thick layer, waited for it to dry, and then a thick layer of matte gloss. This look also started with a thin layer of Bravo. This time I topped it with Mocha Java Shimmer to get that bronze color. Let that dry for a long time. <laughs> With the Sigma E30 pencil brush, I started adding Snow Shadow Sense to get the Fleur de Lis shape. I use a Royal and Lang Nickel Zen Brush Z73R and Black Eye Sense to create the inside shape. <laughs> And I went back in with snow to make the outer line a little bit cleaner. I wanted to get the shape as close as possible. I noticed the bottom of my fleur de lis wasn't quite right, so I cleaned the edges off with a makeup remover on a tiny brush, and then I redid it so that they pointed upwards in the right direction. And again, a thick layer of clear or almost clear lip sense using my finger and a thick layer of matte gloss from the bottle where I removed the stopper to make it really easy. <laughs> Thank you. 
starting with Bravo again and covering my lips with Snow Shadow Scents. Again, you want to give a long time to dry for shadow scents on full lips. This last video was made the next morning, so my camera angle is a little different and the lighting is a little bit different, but you'll still get the process. I started the rounded part of the ram horn. Doing your circle and half circle shapes first helps a lot. I'm using a Real Technique Square Precision Brush and the color Mocha Java Shimmer to get the horn. Then I take an Ulta eyeliner brush and add Midnight Muse to shape out the neck and fill in the horn area. Mistake, I would just go back in with snow and try to get that shape just right. So I did have to do this a couple times and go in with snow and then redo the Midnight Muse for the right shape. This was definitely the hardest of all the logos. With the Real Techniques brush, I used the Mocha Java Shimmer to line everything. The bottom, I added white again for the snout part of the ram, and then with eye sense, I gave the ram a nose, mouth, and eye. I took the blue color in one more time to darken everything up. Then I topped with a thick layer or almost clear lip sense and a thick layer of matte gloss for my stopper free bottle of matte gloss. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Lip art is definitely super fun and with practice can become really easy for anyone.